from the KATC Weather Lab. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, after a stormy evening, pretty much on schedule, maybe even a little bit early, storms moving out. Severe weather threat is over with in Acadiana, so that's the good news. Uh, let's get into it and show you what the big picture was uh, with this low pressure system that was moving generally well north of the region. You can see on the back side of the system, we have some snow up here in Oklahoma, and we're going to get uh, we have one front moving on through this evening. Secondary front up here, that's going to be coming down for tomorrow night into Friday and that's going to bring us the winter chill back to Acadiana. Now, as we look at the big picture, as we dial into all six Doppler radars, including KTC's Doppler radar, you can see the big picture with rain and storms, a lot of cloud to ground lightning, eastern Louisiana. That's where the severe weather threat continues this evening. So here's a six hour loop and notice this activity right here. Uh, we had a, essentially a supercell structure that bowed out and may have produced tornadic activity. And again, follow it right here right here. That's the one that did all the damage, even knocked out power out across portions of Acadia Parish, Lafayette and up through St. Landry for sure. Things though have been quieting down. Notice there's still plenty of activity offshore out here in the Gulf of Mexico, but this is earmarked for southeast Louisiana and east of St. Mary Parish. Still a tornado watch. Uh, it was in effect here uh, farther to the east. They're clearing most of that, uh, but uh, might see more uh, severe weather watches into Mississippi and Alabama overnight tonight. Last uh, 15 minutes or so, you can see how the, we still have some lingering light showers across the area, so still 30-40% on your rain chances, but the bulk of the heavy activity has been off to the east of us. Again, you can see those spotty showers and we'll bring it down into uh, Vermilion Parish, seeing some showers Forked Island to Intracoastal City. Certainly still quite wet from about Franklin area on southeastward, uh, Franklin Baldwin area on southeastward where it's going to continue to rain, but notice where the lightning's kicking into Terrebonne Parish over by Homa and uh, east of Th uh, Thibodeau. This is where there continues to be a severe weather threat over toward Dulac as well. But that is the good news. Again, uh, just uh, to show you where we had the damage tonight, the main uh, reports of damage, possible tornado in the Grand Prairie area of western St. Landry Parish, a uh, fair bit of power lines down here and then up toward the Big Cane area in the northernmost portions of St. Landry Parish east of Morrow. Uh, more than likely some uh, damage across the region there. And as we look at the big picture, you can see there were tornadoes where we thought they would be most likely into uh, uh, Mississippi, but we don't have all the reports yet. So we'll see how uh, we get the information coming in tomorrow on exactly uh, what type of weather. We certainly had 70, 80 mile an hour winds. Uh, were they tornadoes with more higher winds? probably more than likely for both locations and rainfall. Everybody catching a half an inch to an inch and a half of rain and then some isolated spots catching three to four inches of rain. So as advertised, another soaker across the area. But fortunately, all that mess continues to move to the east as we head toward daybreak tomorrow. It's going to be cooler temperatures in the lower 50s. And as we head into our Thursday afternoon, we'll be in the mid to upper 60s. It's going to be a gorgeous day going into tomorrow night. Here comes front number two out of ahead of it, maybe some shower activity during the wee morning hours of Friday morning, uh, but that should move out. So we'll keep rain chances low for Friday, but plenty of clouds in the forecast for Friday. Maybe some partial clearing. Notice temperatures. Here we go. Crew to Kenai getting down to the 40s more than likely, and there's going to be a wind chill. Look at these winds. There's going to be a wind chill going into Friday night, so keep that in mind. Temperature wise uh, near 50 tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, upper 60s as mentioned tomorrow night near 50 again, maybe upper 40s. And then as we head into Friday afternoon, low to mid 60s, Friday night into Saturday morning. Uh, here we go. Parade times in the 40s and 50s. And then as we head towards Saturday morning, we could see readings dipping down into the upper 30s to lower 40s and even a little bit colder Saturday night. So 50 the low tonight, your rain chance at about 40%. Most of us drying out. So that is the good news. Some breaks in the clouds uh, more than likely over the next few hours. Then tomorrow, pattern does a 180, mostly sunny, seasonable temperatures, high near 70 degrees. Nice breeze out there. Tomorrow's the best day of the week. It goes a, a little bit colder as we head into the weekend, so it's going to be a cold weekend. May not get out of the 40 Saturday, depending on the cloud cover. Low to mid 30 Saturday night, Sunday morning, and maybe a freeze for northern portions of Acadiana. Milder again next week with the next weather maker queuing up for next Tuesday. As for weather for now, we're going to have more coming up right after the break.